Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Melanie, your shoe shed scrapper. So today I am back with my May layout share. Uh, the majority of these layouts are up on my channel with process videos, but there are a couple of Disney layouts that I did off camera. Um, so we will dig right in because there is quite the stack. This here is just a soccer layout. I use kind of a whole bunch of my stash and uh, just kind of one piece of pattern paper. And like I said, I just have a, uh, not a folder, a bag, I guess, of soccer goodies. And so I just kind of went in, I had an idea of how I wanted my pictures to lay. And then I was going to just do like a larger tag here, but then I found these film strips that I thought filled in that space really nicely. So I added two up there, one down at the bottom, and then I had gotten quite a while ago now, uh, some soccer sequins from not just for boys and so I did sneak those in scattered throughout as well and then finished off a pack of soccer flares from Scrap and Happy Studio. This one here is using the Summer Snapshots collection from Simple Stories. It is a new collection and again you can see I dug into my stash found some film strips again that were light colors I combined three pattern papers on this layout, um, but I don't feel like it is overly busy. I kind of separated the size of the patterns just by a little strip, and I think that helps uh, break it up a little bit. And then my photos are just in the middle, and I double matted the one, snuck in another couple of flares from Scrap and Happy Studio, and then a Summer Days title, and got this from my stash, the days at least, as well, uh, from close to my heart. This is the first of the two Disney layouts I did. So these here actually were page kits from Paper Wizard that I got at Great Lakes Mega Meet. I did not have a bunch of free time to scrapbook, um, and so I decided to dig into the page kits and I know a lot of you have said that you love Disney layouts and so I, um, another reason I guess why I did those. The nice thing is with these, yes, they are specific to Paper Wizard, but you can get inspiration from the layout idea as well. So this is a great one. Um, you know, you have the big giant title and then the two photos and a couple of simple embellishments down below. Look at the detail though on the paper wizard. So I did have to piece this all together, um, which was, I'm not going to lie, a little pain in the butt, but it is so detailed, so thick too. Um, just so many layers and really, really a neat, um, I think they do laser cuts. And then again, this one you could take inspiration as well. So this was supposed to be one four by six, but instead I did two two by threes because my photos were, you know, up and down. And so I did just kind of a, a random assortment of our Disney adventure, um, day one at least. These though, you could just easily make circles and use them to embellish, or you could even put circular photos there. So just some a couple of good ideas. Um, doesn't have to be obviously specific to this page kit, but you can take ideas from the page kit and make your own layouts. This one here is the second one. Oh boy, this one was not cheap. I'm not gonna lie, but look at Slinky Dog. He just, I don't know, he stole my heart, I guess. I thought it was the cutest thing. And so again, big title here kind of the same layout idea with the title and then the two photos um this one too took me forever to piece together but look at the detail it is so fun my rope is not the right color it was supposed to be brown but i glued it on the wrong um wrong side and so it's white now not a big deal um but yeah, this was super detailed to put together too, but look at how cute he is. And then page two, again, a great layout idea to get three photos. Again, you could use any embellishment going up and down the page. Obviously, you know, Slinky is a pretty unique, but I just thought it was really, really cute and knew I had the perfect photos for the layout. And so I did splurge and get that one. 
This one here is the summer snapshots again. So just brought in that ice cream paper a little bit, which looking at it now, I pretty much covered the majority of that up. Um, whoops, didn't even realize it until just now, but I have the two photos and the smaller one with the tags. Um, and then these were actually cut apart and I decided to cut it out in a circle with a uh, metal die and just wanted a separation between, you know, like the off-white of the die cut and then the off-white of my paper. So I just cut another circle to layer underneath. Embellishing, really simple. The tags kind of take over um, as well as the circle there. I just loved how the camera fit there. And then again, a couple of flares from Scrap and Happy Studio trying to use up my stash. This one was so fun. So obviously there's a flip flap. It is actually going to open out. That is the nice thing. So sometimes they open up, but you can also have the ones that open out or you could obviously open it in. But this time I decided because I have a nice shaker here, I was going to open it out. So this one cut out a watermelon in, on my Cricut and made it into a shaker pocket. These are from Creek Bank Creations. And then again on my Cricut cut out my title, kept it simple with embellishing, really, really simple. A tag, a flare, and two phrase stickers. I just didn't think it needed much more with a giant um, title and then the big shaker as well. This here is a one page layout combining an old Dino Friends collection from Echo Park and the new Dino Mite collection. Oh, I did not even tape that down. Had it sit, sat there, but didn't even put any tape on it. So I guess we'll tape that down right now. Um, the orange background paper is Dino Friends, as is this dinosaur sticker. And then the uh, frames and the sayings are from the Dino Mite. Again, bunch of flares from Scrap and Happy Studio. Um, she had this canvas Dino one that matched perfectly with this collection. So I did sneak that in. So super simple, layered them all across. I will put the date down here. I just... Need, needed my phone and that's how I record my videos. So I will add the date there. And then this two page layout will go right behind it. And so there's not really a, whoops, a title to this, but again, it's gonna go behind that one. So I didn't think it needed it. Let me get it straightened up, oh my goodness. Another uh, flip flap from close to my heart. So this one here, went crazy with the pattern papers, went crazy with the embellishing, but it, again, I don't feel like it's overly busy. Um, love how I have the Be Strong, Be Brave, Be Fierce with white. I am trying to get better at being okay with a lot of white space. Um, and then so many flares. Look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven flares from Scrap and Happy Studio. And then the... Embellishments are the Dynamite collection. So just kind of did a lot of flags for my photos to sit on. This will open up. Love how you can embellish on the flip flaps as well. So just something fun about those. And this one here, I still haven't edited it. Edited it. <laughs> That's a hard word to say with an ED on the end. Um, To add a title, I got so many good ideas like sweet as honey and then I'm probably going to add a B. I just have to cut it out with my Cricut. Um, yeah just so many good title ideas so I probably will add a title. I just haven't got around to it yet so I did a five by seven photo of Winnie and Tigger and then the three of us cut out this dripping honey from my Cricut as well added kind of an embellishment cluster so that my journaling didn't look out of place or just floating. And then on page two, I got four photos, a cut apart and this cute little Tigger that I did buy from Petticoat Parlor. Um, I just had so much fun with this collection. I think it is adorable and really kept embellishing at a minimum as well because I have so many photos, have a couple of large pieces that it didn't really need much more than that. All right, this is Coco Vanilla Studios. I think I combined both the Legendary Collection and the Limitless, 
I think is what it's called, did kind of squares. My photos are smaller than the paper squares. Obviously the paper, the background paper was already kind of mixed media up for me. Um, and then just again, kept embellishing small on the corners and then use the space in the middle for phrase stickers. And then I was able to use some of the uh, clear stickers um, on this as well. They showed up really nice on the pattern paper too. Uh, I think because they are dark, uh, but just yeah, trying to use up a lot of my stash. Homegrown collection from Simple Stories is this one. Again, another simple one um, came together so quickly. Cut the large circle out of my Cricut. Just have a piece of pattern, kind of a more subtle pattern coming across. And then added the red strip as well because I didn't want my title to float. I felt like if I added another strip, it would be sitting on that instead of floating. So just really trying to get kind of the farmer's market. These actually came out of our backyard, but kind of, you know, the garden farmer's market pieces from the collection on this layout. And so, I don't know. I just really like it. The clothesline, it was just a filler and I just thought it was cute at the top there as well. And I will do a little bit of journaling there. Another two page layout and another shaker. So this here is a combination of embellishments or um, collections. So this Yellow paper is actually a Disney collection. Um, and then I think the brown and the grass are from a Bella Boulevard collection. And then this is custom, Scrapbook Customs, I believe, is that. Um, so here I have just the two photos. I will do my journaling here. This was a Packers camp we took the kids to last spring and then look at the shaker um this is creek bank creations again i just think it is adorable i just have the star um i do go into detail in how to create a shaker in both this layout and the watermelon one so i'll try to link one of them up above right here so that you guys can if you are interested learn how to make a shaker pocket and then page two has four photos. Again, same background idea, uh, but have the four photos. And then these chipboard pieces are actually from a 49 and Market collection, uh, but the colors matched perfectly. This big football is actually from Hobby Lobby. Um, and just had a lot of fun with this layout and got a lot of photos on it. The Most of the photos for me, for my album, um, on this two-page layout fun stories too, which I guess I didn't tell you guys in <laughs> the process video. So we'll tell it really quick. My husband is the Packers fan. I am a Lions fan. And so when I did the Lambo leap, I gave thumbs down because I am a Lions fan. Um, and he snapped the photo. And of course, he wouldn't let me delete it. So uh, yeah, go Lions. <laughs> this one here. Oh, I can't even remember how to say the company. No. Saguaro, I think, um, papery. And it was a small business. And I don't think she even has the website up anymore. But I did end up buying pretty much the whole collection and then added my stash to this one. So the papers and then the cut apart flowers are from that collection as well as the sticker here. However, I went into my stash and found some doilies, some puffy stickers, some acrylic phrases another flare from Scrap and Happy Studio, and really just combined a bunch of my stash for this layout. Um, I knew I wanted a layout with stripes, um, and so I cut them apart and distressed them, and then I fussy cut a bunch of flowers to go around my photo, and then just tucked some pieces on kind of in there, and then added a cluster at the bottom there. This one here is a... Um, layout I did for the Erica Rose Creates design team using her Blossoms cut file. So I cut it out in white, backed it in a Pink Fresh Studio kind of watercolor paper, and added my photos to a couple of the Blossoms, and then kind of did a simple embellishing on each of the Blossoms, except for the middle one. But it is what it is, and I don't think it really needs it. This one kind of carries over. Um, because I cut it in 
out in white it really was going to blend into the background page too much and so I did do a little bit of the smushing packaging technique with a purple on the background and I feel like it does help it stand out plus I popped the actual cut file up on foam tape and then this is my second layout for the Erica Rose Creates design team. And I used the uh, viewfinder cut file. The nice thing with cut files is you can cut them out in different sizes. So I actually have two. I have this large one and then I have this smaller one that I snuck in kind of as a layering piece. This is the Where To Next collection from Vicki Booten. Again, I brought in a bunch of flares from Scrap and Happy Studio. Again, um, I will do my journaling down here. It is kind of a busy layout, but I like how I was able to get a photo kind of in the middle of the viewfinder and then a larger photo too. Um, and then just kind of some simple embellishing because I feel like it is kind of busy, especially with the large title as well. I went into my stash again. That is what happens when you don't spend too much money. <laughs> um, I am enjoying getting into my stash. I find it hard sometimes, but it's nice to know that, I don't know, I'm not having to spend money to create layouts. Um, and so this one here is the Never Grow Up collection from Chamel. I did the green background to accent the gr bright green grass. Um, and then just stripes of paper down to bring in some colors. And then just some clusters here. Love the little dandelions. Brought in some butterflies. Obviously never grow up. My aunt and my dad are on the bottom. So that is kind of why I wanted to use the never grow up. And then I was able to sneak in a couple of like the wood buttons from the collection as well. And just like the way that this one turned out. Same collection and a cut file from Not Just For Boys Kit Club. So kind of staggered my photos down with the large cut file title, um, but wanted some more patterns. And so most of these, I think all but the wood grain, I believe, are the six by eight paper pad. Um, and so I just cut them, dovetailed the end here just to fill in the space and bring in some more patterns and then just kept embellishing simple as well for this one two more so this is a simple stories collection but i can't recall which <laughs> school life it's called school life um i have some of my iris containers labeled and that is one of them so school life and so i have the busy pattern paper and then it's separated by a solid piece of cardstock and then triangles with more pattern paper last day of school for my title and then some i guess simple clusters loved the locker and it just gave a great base for a, some smaller embellishments and then as well over here and a tag at the top kind of was a good base for another smaller cluster. This is a flare from Scrap and Happy Studio. Otherwise, the majority besides the title is all that collection. And lastly, Gnomes for Winter, I believe, from Close to My Heart. I, again, challenged myself, went into my stash, found all of these cut files that I've just had in my stash that I've needed to use and so I used one here. I also had got my first embossing folder and so I used that for the first time um, and put that on the sapphire and then I used a piece of sandpaper and roughed it up a little bit so that you could see the snowflakes a little bit more. The larger snowflakes are actually from out of the cut file here and then I have acrylic snowflakes as well that were from, I believe, that same collection. So same kind of layout as this one with the photos going across. This one here, though, I decided to bring a strip of paper down instead of going all across the page. Um, instead of my large title as well, the cut file kind of comes down and I didn't feel like I needed anything else down there. But instead, I added the title kind of above it and on my photos there um this one here is kind of fun it is the progression of my sun coming down the hill so 
looks like he's doing great and then kind of fallen off a little bit and then he fell down at the bottom so that is what i accomplished in may coming up in june i just wanted to kind of give you guys a heads up i probably will cut back to just three layouts a week um it's just harder with the boys home to not feel guilty about spending time in the she shed and so i have found a the last few summers being home with them um three is about my max per week that I can get accomplished. Um, if I feel like I can get out here more to the she shed, I will definitely upload more, but don't be surprised if I cut back to just three layouts a month, uh, or a week, I'm sorry, three layouts a week, uh, throughout the summer, but that is going to finish this off. I will have links down below for some of the collections. If you see something you are interested in, but I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you next time. Bye guys.